hasn't been the best year for gardening for me, but um, even though we haven't had any rain, fortunately I have drip irrigation out here. So this intercropping that I've done between some of the rows of grapes, at least with these easier crops like potatoes, squash, melons, um, these things are doing really well. And I just plant, you know, a single row mostly of the melons and the squash and the pumpkins. And um, then I can run the drip irrigation line right down that row to give them the water that they need. And uh, the potatoes will do all right. They're not gonna produce a lot here, but it's something. And uh, it's such minimal effort in here. I mean, I basically just go through with my tiller um, till up the bed, plant the crops, and then as soon as they start coming up and get big enough, I mulch them with the straw. And then it's just a matter of keeping them watered. These are cucumbers. Obviously they're getting a little bit of damage from, or actually this is melons. Uh, probably deer, I would guess, maybe rabbits but I don't think that they love them because they're leaving the leaves right there. But of course, rabbits are the most evil animals that we have, and so it's probably rabbits. These are cucumbers. Those back there were watermelon. I think I planted way too many cucumbers, though. I don't need this many. Here's some summer squash. I'm looking forward to having these. This is one of my favorite vegetables, and I do have a little bit of fruit on there already. And this is, I think, a volunteer moon and stars watermelon. You can tell by the spots. It has the same spots on the fruit. It produced pretty big watermelon, but I'll let that go since there's not really much around that it's competing with. And these are butternut squash. A little section of butternut squash. You know, if you give them enough water and the, you know, the rabbits and the deer lay off of them, they just do so well. These things will produce like crazy here. And this is just my pumpkin patch over here. I might sell these for Halloween or something. I have way more than I possibly could need for pumpkins for myself. So it's just, it's so easy to grow them this way. I mean, it's like basically no work at all. I wish all of the gardening that I did was like this easy, but it's not because rabbits eat most of the crops that I uh, would want to grow and I can't just leave them unfenced out here in the vineyard. So this is the bed, a bed of onions that I planted from, some of these were sets and some of them were starts that I started, and actually the starts are looking much better than they were before. I just drip irrigated these for a while, and you can see the ground is pretty wet around them, which is good, because that's what they need. I need to go through here with a hoe and hoe these weeds. So here we are, and this is the latest update on the plantings, intercropping in the vineyard, and Things are starting to die back, and I don't know if this is because of bacterial wilt. Definitely melons and squash can get, and cucumbers get bacterial wilt that's spread by cucumber beetles, and that is probably part of the issue. I also think that these, uh, <clears throat> these beds are not super fertile. They don't have a lot of fertility to them, and so, um, they've kind of expended, I think, all the fertility, even though I planted that white clover. There's only so mu much nitrogen that it leaves in the soil. So I'm getting some, you know, there's like watermelons here and uh, we'll have to see how these have developed if they're like actually sweet. I've gotten tons of cucumbers out of here, like way more cucumbers than I know what to do with. You can see I've made use of these uh, quick hoops that I made earlier in the season and I'm using those for, um, I was using them to actually protect these cucumbers from the deer because the deer were nibbling on these vines when they were getting established and uh, it was really affecting them so I put some bird netting over until the vines could get big enough that the, the deer stopped messing with them. I've gotten tons of summer squash off of these and I like 
This is the longest I've seen summer squash here survive. They've done really well this year. And I've been basically in, inundated with summer squash, but I love summer squash. So, hasn't been a problem. So, this bed that I planted has progressed pretty well. Got some potatoes here. I don't think they're gonna be super productive. This, this land is not really that fertile. Um, but I probably will maybe double the amount of potatoes that I had. I don't know. We'll see. And then this over here is butternut squash. And uh, there's plenty of that. It's still going pretty strong. And uh, the squash is not completely ripe because it's only early August. But I'm expecting to get a pretty good harvest of of squash out of here, considering it was fairly minimal effort. And then of course I've got all these pumpkins, and uh, I think I might have planted these a little bit early, but we'll see if they can survive till uh, Halloween and beyond. But it wasn't my original intention to have these turn yellow at this time of the year. But some pretty big ones in there. All different shapes and sizes and I figure I'll use these for decoration and uh, might sell some of them to people as local organic Halloween pumpkins if they make it to that point. But it's a pretty good harvest for not being a lot of effort. So this is only a portion of the harvest of pumpkins, squash, and melons I got out of this intercropping strip in my vineyard. Not a bad haul for a space that's normally just planted to cover crop or grass in the typical vineyard. With permaculture, we're adding diversity and making use of all the space available. Hey, check out the Hardcore Sustainable Facebook page for regular updates. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, and give a thumbs up to the video, and I'll see you next time.